Hello and welcome back to another video and in this one we are gonna play a new game which I saw on the GeoGuessr subreddit, someone talking about it and it is called Turing Test which is kind of a wordplay uh, about the Turing Test I believe, very clever. But uh, what, should we, what will we be doing in this game is that AI is gonna generate some sort of a uh, city description or generate some sort of a drawing or painting and we got to figure out what city uh, is this uh, Generation about uh, so let's go. Let's go. So let's let's uh, choose these default options and let's see What do we uh, have here? So this time we have some sort of descriptions and as you see we have a lot of options so it's just bl blindly guessing probably won't end well. One of the most iconic landmarks of this place is the Red Fort, which was built in the mid-17th century by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. Oh god, I have no idea. Fort is red sandstone architecture. I don't know where Red Fort is. Okay, let's have a look at the poem. The heart of blank beats in blank, a city of history, charm and frenzy. Red Fort again. Qutub Minar. I have no idea where that is either. Doesn't sound very European. Um, Qutub Minar sounds maybe kind of Middle Eastern, maybe, maybe kind of North Northern Africa, maybe Morocco somewhere. With treasures that will forever submerge in every soul. Uh, if only I knew where those places are. Mughal, wait, Mughal Empire was India, you no? Know? I, I just noticed there is Mughal Empire mentioned here. Mughal Empire, I think, was. India, uh, in India, long time ago. So maybe one of these cities then. Red Fort. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go with uh, Jaipur, maybe somewhere there. Oh, it was just New Delhi. Ah, I thought maybe New Delhi might be too obvious. But okay, so we still got. Uh, should have received. Okay, we get a 960 points. So you can get up to 1,000 points per round. So since we were very close, we got a lot of points still. The next one, Haiku, City of Chaos, Traffic, Skyscrapers and Crowds, Blank, Alive. Okay, so a big city, seemingly, based on this Haiku, the travel blog, what do we have here? Blank is the beating heart of Blank, so probably the capital city, then, of the, of the country. With its bustling streets, rich culture, delicious food, one of the most visited cities in the country. Well, it makes sense if it's the capital. City boasts some of the most impressive and colorful murals in the world. Okay. National cocktail of blank made with kacha, kachasa, lime, and sugar. This C letter with a little tail. You use that in Portuguese and Turkish, I think. I think. Was it in French as well? I don't remember. Uh, but, but sounds kind of maybe, maybe. I'm th currently, I'm thinking maybe Brazil somewhere there maybe uh but what else stunning neo-gothic church that took over four decades to build wait could this be barcelona because i think in um uh i think in catalan they also use this uh that that, that letter that c letter and i know in barcelona that big um cathedral um like it's uh, it's still being built. It has taken super long to build. I think Barcelona makes sense, and it it is an option. So yeah, I think I think we're going with uh, Barcelona then. I think it was Brazil. No, okay. Apparently, Brazil also has a cathedral that has taken a long time to build. Well, Brazil. I I didn't mention Brazil. I was considering it as well. Next, we have a haiku again. Soaking in the warmth, blank spas beneath my feet, blank brings ancient peace. Some spas, huh? Okay. Travel blog again. Anci some sort of ancient baths. Blank abbey. Look at in the city's heart. Gothic style architecture. Beautiful royal crescent. Prior park. I don't recognize the, any of those, those names. Abbey. Rich history, elegant culture, beautiful architecture. Mm, I'm getting European vibes, maybe. Just from the description. Abbey. Could this be UK? Maybe. Um, maybe. What are the options in the UK here? We have... Oh, Bath. 
we, we have bath as an option so surely we gotta go there right <laughs> if bath is an option with all these baths mentioned we gotta go there right it is it is let's go oh i'm glad i got at least one correct oh but this is a really tricky game because because you really gotta figure it out because just blindly guessing you're not gonna get it i wonder why are we not getting any like paintings because i know you can get some paintings as well Again, Haiku and Travel Blog. Beneath the blue sky, blank shines with ancient charm, a city of grace. I feel those haikus usually don't help too much. Not, not too much information there. But okay, let's have a look at the Travel Blog. A birthplace of Hannibal, ancient ruins of Carthage. Ooh, 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 ooh. wait. Oh, where, where, oh, Carthage. Oh god, where was Carthage? Oh... Now, was it Iraq or Syria? What? Carthage. I, I don't remember. What, what, what else do we have? Birthplace of Hannibal. Don't know where he was born. Birsa Hill ruins. Bardo Museum. Don't know those. Intricate Islamic and Byzantine art in a museum. Uh, 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 uh. Carthage. Oh, I should know where Carthage was. Carthage. It was somewhere around Mediterranean Sea, right? It wasn't Egypt, though, I don't think. I'm not sure if it was coastal or, or kind of maybe more inland. Ah, I really should know this one. Could it be maybe somewhere up here? No, but that's Algier, no. That's Tunis. One of those is Tripoli. The other one, I'm not sure. I don't know. Let's get somewhere like near Damascus, somewhere there. It was Tunis. Ah, okay, so apparently Carthage was somewhere there. Fair enough. Uh, the last round now. So, travel blog. Oh, and painting. Finally, we got a painting. Uh, just from the painting, looks quite European, I would say. What does the travel blog say? Blank is a charming and picturesque city nestled in the heart of blank. No for it's kept being old world charm and stunning castles. It's the perfect destination for travelers looking for a taste of blank culture and history. Beautiful old town, UNESCO World Heritage Site. Zeitglogge, a medieval clock tower. Uh, I've never heard of this clock tower. For more modern experience, Rosengarten Terrace is a great spot to take in views of the city. Rosengarten sounds quite German, so I'm thinking maybe Austria. Could this be, or maybe just Germany? Rosengarten. Let's have a look at this. Quite hilly, seems. Quite hilly, so it's not going to be the Netherlands or anything like that. Because I know Dutch can be look kind of similar to German as well, but but yeah. Luxembourg? Could this ever be like Luxembourg, maybe? Rosengarten. I would still go Austria, maybe. Austria might be my main guess. Something like Salzburg, maybe. Um, any, any other clues here? I don't think so. Moving Muppets, I don't know. Let's let's go with Salzburg, let's see. I was ah Switzerland makes perfect sense as well. So uh Bern it was. Okay, fair enough. Uh still we uh most of our guesses well my guesses were decent. <laughs> Only one correct though. Uh the the this Barcelona one uh kinda threw that one a little bit. Let's go for another one maybe. Maybe a little bit faster this time. Ancient Stone City Seaside. Okay, so Seaside. A uh, Seaside. Adriatic Sea Mediterranean. So Adriatic Sea is one of these ones, right? Which one was Adriatic Sea? It doesn't show on this map. Adriatic Sea. Oh, it was somewhere here, right? Diocletian. Diocletian's Palace. Margin Forest Park. I don't know. Bacvice Beach. Okay, Bacvice. I was thinking maybe like Greece at first, but uh, Bacvice doesn't sound Greek at all. Bacvice is giving me like maybe Bacvice, like Slovenia and Croatian vibes, like the sound Bacvice. Maybe Montenegrin, but Mo no, Montenegro is not an option. So could this ever be Split? I have been to Split, but uh, Diocletian's palace kind of rings a bell. Is it because of that? I'm not sure. I think Split is my best guess. 
since Albania and Montenegro have no, no options to choose it from, Slovenia doesn't either, and it has to be coastal, I think split is the only good option here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it had to be, because it didn't sound Italian at all. Um, okay, good start. Travel blog, City of Mosques. Ooh, I feel like I've heard of City of Mosques, but which one was it? Of course, I don't remember that. Uh, bustling capital. So we are in, an, in the capital city. Okay, that eliminates like most of these options already. Stunning Lalbag oh, Fort. Built in the 17th century. Mughal style fort. Hmm. Uh, Kapra Bazaar. Shang Shanghari Bazaar. Um, crispy Samosas. Buringanga River. Buri Buriganga? Huh. I don't know where that is. Rivers flow swift. Blank's heart beats in its midst. So a capital city with a river flowing through. In the city of mosques. Hmm. I I actually have no idea. I've never heard of Buriganga River. So I'm 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 really not sure. I feel like it might be somewhere in the Middle East, but I don't think it's Baghdad, but I don't have a better guess. Let's just go Baghdad, I think, because nothing else, really. Could this be Northern Africa, maybe, somewhere? City of mosques. Wouldn't be Rabat, would it? I don't think so. Uh, let, let's just keep it in Baghdad, I think, but... Where was it? Bang Dhaka! Ah, oh, that is City of mosques, huh? I knew I've heard of City of Mosques, but I couldn't couldn't remember which city it was. Okay, so we have a painting here of the city. All I can say it doesn't look too European. Maybe kind of kind of um Central Asian, maybe getting maybe one of the Stan country vibes. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see what the landmark uh, description says. Okay, we have some some Arabic sounding names here. One famous landmark in Blank Blank is the King Fahd Fountain, also known as Blank Fountain. It is the tallest fountain in the world, reaching a height of 312 meters. The fountain is illuminated at night and can be seen from many points in the city. Could this be UAE? Could Saudi Arabia, maybe? Maybe one of the other countries in the vicinity? They kind of want to go like Abu Dhabi, maybe. Maybe. I don't know, let's, let's go Abu Dhabi. I was Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. Okay, well, I was considering Saudi Arabia as well. Next, so travel blog and landmark, huh? Promenade des Anglais. Okay. Musée National Marc Chagall. Matisse. Sounds French, doesn't it? Sounds French to me. So would we be in France? Vibrant nightlife. Stunning azure waters of the Mediterranean. Do we have any Mediterranean French cities? We have Nice. Could it be Nice? What does the landmark say? White sandy beaches and the rocky hills along Riviera. I, I think let's go with Nice. I the language sounds kind of French to me from what I can see. So let's see. It is. Thank God. Thank God I got it right. <laughs> Luckily, there was only one French Mediterranean city available to guess. Ooh, okay, we have a... Uh, is that a flag? Is that a British flag? Kind of red, white, and blue? Maybe not. So we have a painting and a random fact. La Corona. Okay, probably not uh, UK then. Blank is home to the world's largest cigar factory. Cuba? La Corona, which produces over 30 different brands of cigars, including the famous Cohiba brand. Could this be Cuba, maybe? I mean, the, the kind of vibrant color buildings could be Cuba, maybe. Any... Okay, there is one one guess uh, in Havana. So let's guess in Havana, I think. Okay, the cigar factory helped. <laughs> I think we got more points in this one. I'm pretty sure we did, because we got three, three cities correct, which... I think it's pretty good. I, I really think so. Uh, the link to the game, of course, will be in the description if you want to try it out for yourselves and, and, and let me know how you do in the comments. And on the right side, there will be another video I think you will enjoy. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another and see you all in the next video.